Hello guys, today I'm doing some more coding and code.org and today we will be using App Lab and we're going to be learning about a new coding App Lab called Turtle. So in today's video, I'm going to be using Turtle to create sort of a maze creator. So like the I'll be able to create mazes and you might be able to give it to your friends to solve. So first of all let's let's start getting the design of how of how we want it to be presented so I just like to keep my background cyan you can keep it any color you like but for me cyan's the best you don't I, I oh, sorry. you can just keep line you don't need to keep line you can keep like straight or something but you do, you, I'm doing these ones, so the, instead of button 2, I'm going to name it L, and for this, it's going to be L. Now, I'll tell you why I'm doing this later on when I'm using my code, but remember to name your ID and, and remember, name your ID and something you know, in case, because uh, a lot of issues happen when you forget it and your code won't run, run properly and I'm sure you guys don't want that. So we're gonna go turn Oh guys and don't worry there's no space in the ID so you, you don't have to put a space but when you're typing it in here you can just put a space. Okay and then I just like to put a simple you don't need to be as picky as me, I just prefer being like very exact. Erase. I'm naming it erase, the button is erase. Okay. Oh, oops. Spelled that wrong. Okay, now let's go into code. So wait, when you're in your, you'll see um, an option of co um, codes. There'll be UI controls, data control, very variables canvas but we want to use turtle for today so let's get right into it before we start always go into ui controls and just grab the on events button and then go into turtle again and also you know the id that i was talking about in the buttons you'll see your id up here you have to pick what button you want when you click that button what's going to happen so I'm going to start with turn right. Turn right's pretty easy. You just need to go in here and look for the turn right angle. You'll see turn right 90 degrees. Now, let's go line. We'll go line first. So line, line, line. So in line, you want to go into the grab an own event button again. And remember to put in your ID. If you don't put in the right ID, your code will not work. So line, and then you want to put the pen down. The, when you put the pen down, it pretty much means that you are you you are um you are putting your pen down. It's like putting your pen down when you're drawing. So you just it's the same as this. So you're giving it the proper sequence of what to do. So move forward. You can do it any pixels, but I just prefer doing it 50. Now if I press run and I go line. I'll be seeing my line, and if I want to turn right, I can turn right. Now, you, if you guys want to change the color or the width or how thick your um, pen is, you can always just change it just in here. You can keep the pen width maybe 5. I prefer keeping it 3, and you can change the color to maybe red. You can change it to any color. You just need to type it in the box. You so let's say I want oh and remember not to take off the um the little apostrophes on the top the talking marks because they're very important as you can see if I do take them off by accident it won't work look oh, oh it's saying that it's not accepted you have done the wrong code so I'm just gonna keep in for now keep it symbol and put orange so when I run the line, it will turn orange. And turn right, line, line. Now let's go on to erase. So first I'll go into grab another on event button in UI controls. And I'll be looking for the pen down. So 
I'll grab that pen down one. Uh, oh, sorry, it, it's a race. So, yeah, you, you can still take pen down. So, pen down. And then you want to at this. And then when pen down and you want to move forward. And you want to move forward 50 pixels. Now, this is where a lot of people also go wrong. They think that's it and they'll, they'll, they'll go into their erase. But they won't erase anything. Which is because they haven't put the ID in. And the ID is erased. And you also won't, you, anyway, you won't be able to erase anything. As you see, you're just going forward. Because you need to change the color. So when I go into my pen color here, I, I type in cyan. And when I, after I've typed in cyan, it will, um, I also need to do the pen width in case it's not too tiny for the pen and that you'll be seeing outlines. So pen width three. Now you go line, line, turn right if you want, erase, erase, erase. So as you can see, it has worked there. I also, but I just like doing it as a five, just in case if there are any outlines, it will be able to rub them nice and clean. The last one is L, and L is like you're doing an L shape, the L letter, and that's almost the same as all of these. Remember to put in your your the ID of your button. So remember to put your pen down again, pen down, and then you want to. You can make an L in a lot of um, a lot of different ways. I'm just gonna do move forward for a hundred, and then turn right. Oh, where's it? Turn right, turn right, and then move forward fifty. Again, you can put in any number of pixels you like. I just prefer keeping it this way. So, and then you can maybe do line, line, line. Now, you, you guys don't have to do this, but just in case those people who are, I'm going to be doing on another, I'm also going to be adding another one called jump. So, I'm just going to put it right in the middle, and this jump means like you, you'll be, it'll, it's basically like the line one, but you're not going to be jumping anywhere. You're just going to be just going to places without writing. So this can save a lot of your erasing time in case you make mistakes and you need to go back erase. So if you want to leave tiny, tiny gaps, jump is the best way to do it. Again, on events. And also, again, remember to put in the button ID, which is jump. And jump, you want to keep your pen up, not down, because if I keep my pen down, it will be the same as line. I want to keep my pen up, and I want to keep, move forward 25 pixels. Now, if you see, uh, if I go in L, and then I jump, if I leave a tiny gap, I t and then I turn right, and I do a line, line. Um, so that's it for today, guys. This was a maze creator. You, can, you, but you can make any other things with it, and you can be creative. Do what you want. And if you want more videos like this, remember to hit that like button and press that subscribe button. And for more ideas, or in case you want any more, say, in case you want any more tutorials on tut um, turtle, put it in the comment section below. Till then, I'm signing off. Bye bye.